series of different sessions on uh, bioinformatics. This session is solely based on the second structure prediction of mRNA using different sources. So as we have noted in the last session that we can retrieve uh, genome or uh, gene sequence either from uh, NCBI or from EMBS. So let me first open a database to get a gene sequence. So I'm going to search for pyruvate kinase of the organism Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So in the input, change all database to the gene and search. In the results, you will get uh, first, uh, in the first session you will get a protein sequence, so just neglect it. And uh, in the next, you will get a gene ID name and gene ID. So this is your gene nucleotide sequence. So open it in the FASTA form. So you can get a FASTA or GenBag uh, um, in anyone. Uh, both are same. So in the FASTA format you will get a nucleotide sequence of this pyruvate kinase gene so just copy all nucleotide sequence and in another tab open and fold so as you can see its website is uh, unfold.rna so in its application, you can see a different folding forms uh, uh, of the nucleic acid like RNA, DNA, structure display, and free energy determination. You can get all of them in a in in either in the uh, RNA folding form or in a uh, DNA folding form. So open RNA folding form into your sequence name that is a pyruvate kinase for uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and uh, paste your FASTA format and then format the sequence okay so format the sequence and just fold RNA side by side I will also open RNA fold the, both the servers are same they do same job so here also I will paste my first sequence and proceed so in the M fold you can see different structure with respect to this free energy where the minimum gives free energy is minus 664 kilocalorie and the highest is you can see in the structure 39 minus 648 so by the thermodynamic concept you all know that gives free energy is directly related with the spontaneous folding or say stability so this gives free energy leads to the formation of the most stable mRNA structure so I will open in PNG form PNG CT file VNR anyone you can open anyone you can see secondary structure of mRNA it's a basically a stem loop turns and uh, you can see a open hairpin loop a open loop but it's not quite visible so that's the reason we don't much use M fold and we use RNA fold web server So yes, so results for minimum free energy prediction 
and you can get a secondary structure of uh, Gibbs free energy of minus 645 kilocalorie so yeah that's and that's your sequence and uh, you may click on anyone color by base pairing probability or color by poisoning entropy or no coloring it's your choice yes so they are your secondary mRNA structure of your gene of interest so you can get any of the uh, any of the uh, secondary structure of your nucleotide sequence just you just have a you just need a sequence a nucleotide sequence in a first half format okay so the both the structures are different are quite different like in in here and in this uh, in this area you can see a uh, number of uh, loops and number of uh, like uh, circles are more so this structure is basically more suitable and more stable because more the turns more the bonding in the mrna is the directly correlated with its stability so yeah i can also view in for now In the fauna, you can see a live animated form of this mRNA. It will take a time to just zoom in and see. It's the magic of fauna, and yes. Yeah, can see truly animated so here your secondary mRNA predicted structure you can also get same structure and same results from uh, other database also they are quite flexible so if you want to pair the cytosine with a guanine no it's not possible So that's the difference between M fold and RNA fold. Thank you.